here at the airport lounge in Guam Airport, and I have 15 hours here. I'm about to just move these tables and cock out. Is that legal in an airport lounge? <laughs> At this point, I have been here in the, one of the lounges in the airport in Guam for since about 6.30 a.m. It's now 10.30 and I tried to sleep for the majority of that time. We had an overnight flight going from um, Panape to Chuuk to Guam and my next flight is leaving at 7.30 and it's going to Manila in the Philippines. And I'm right now, I'm still waiting on word from Amman Resorts for the sponsorship in, in the Philippines. If I can get that, I'm gonna be there for four days and filming and meeting with the ministry and all that. And if not, then there's a bunch of places where I'm gonna stay, but I'm actually really looking forward to spending some time in the Philippines. The Philippines, Indonesia, and Cambodia are my top three countries like I wanna spend some time in. Surprisingly, this trip keeps getting shorter and shorter. When I keep updating my schedule, I keep getting more and more ahead of time. I don't know how it's happening. I've been going really quickly, I think, and I just haven't even realized it. I've been flying so much, you know, trying to keep in line with the Guinness World Record that I just am like so much more ahead of time now. I do have some extra time to spend in some countries and I'm just gonna pick and choose where I, where I really wanna spend some more time. Philippines, I'm gonna be there for full four days and same with Indonesia, same with Cambodia, probably Vietnam as well. And yeah, I don't, I'm not sure, I gotta figure it out. Get a priority pass, I pay $100 a year and I, can, I have access to pretty much every lounge, you know, tons of lounges all over the world. I got it because I have such long layovers all the time. It's $27 when I go into that lounge and I pay for it later. Here I am in this lounge for 11 hours and I get free food and free coffee and free Wi-Fi and like showers and comfy chairs and quiet. I mean, let me just look at here. There's no one in this room right now. It's worth it, I'm telling you guys. If you're doing a lot of international travel, it's worth it to get the priority pass. Anyways, I'm gonna get to work here on my computer and try and figure all this out. And then, um, yeah, catch up with you guys later. Bye, thanks. All right, I just left the lounge and right now I'm headed to my gate, but I still have like two and a half hours until the flight leaves. So I don't even know what day it is, honestly. It's, I'm kind of in a fog right now. It's, it's daylight. Who would have thunk? Yeah, so I'm headed to my gate. See you guys later. storm on the way over here. I mean crazy super cool. It's about 9 30 and I'm looking forward to heading to the hotel. The $25 hotel. I'm just going straight to bed and then up early tomorrow. So. I got here last night Manila um, pretty late like midnight or 11 30 or something and then I had to get on the internet to get back to some hotels for sponsorship but the debate was to go to this island Palawan which is about an hour and a half's flight of here it's supposed to be like the most beautiful island in the world and the, the flights are, are really cheap it's like 60 bucks or something so I figured it's a whole day affair just to get there so once you land in their airport it's a six to eight hour bus drive to get there and then you're there, so I'd only get a day there, but I figure it's worth it than staying in Manila. I'm not a city person. <laughs> I'm, I don't really know what to do here. I'd rather just kind of go to the nature spot. So that's where I'm headed now. I'm gonna hopefully get this flight. I have like an hour, so yeah, that's it.
Let you guys in on a little secret. Um, I'm headed to the business center right now in the Marriott to print out my visas. What I was saying is I need to print some visas. So I'm here in the business center in Marriott getting some of these visas printed out. I don't know the next time I'll get the chance. Um, I'm just gonna walk in like all the players. No, that's but uh yeah, so right now I'm gonna have to do I think the Gambia right here. Some of these I failed to print out before, so I have to do it right now. <laughs> how much of a luxury it is to be able to just go to a nice hotel that's recognizable that I know and be able to just get some work done you know like have a decent meal where I know I'm not gonna get sick and just get some work done freshen up in a bathroom that's not gross it's just a nice luxury and it's something I try and do on this trip if I'm feeling really bogged down really tired and really frustrated and I've been traveling for so much I just try and get to like one of these sort of hotels just to kind of recoup use the internet. No, I don't even stay here overnight. It's just to kind of like recharge my batteries for a sec, like especially since my flight is late. We're going to be departing late and it was a really crowded departure area. You know, I couldn't really get any work done. So yeah, this is good to, good to have for right now. to this little island uh, off of Manila and it's supposed to be the most beautiful island in the world. in the Philippines. The area I'm at is a tiny part of the northern part of the island and I decided to go on a tour pretty much last minute this morning. Yeah, it's just kind of like going to all these places, um, these beautiful coves and tons of places and I thought that I should take advantage of it since I'm only here for the day. So we just came to our first beach. This is pretty much it. Um, I totally came unprepared. I lost my bikini the day after I got it. I got it in Fiji so now I'm wearing my sports bra and my underwear. <laughs> it's a little bit overcast, um, but it's not a big deal. I think there's a l the whole day to see some good stuff. Soaking up the Philippines. We're on the ocean now. We're in the small lagoon. It's very shallow. It's very shallow. And it's really beautiful. Just tons of rock formations. It's actually a pretty beautiful day for it. long day pretty fun actually this is a really beautiful island unfortunately it did start raining 
but only about halfway through the day. So we had seen a lot at that point. As you can see, I have all my stuff laying out everywhere. I was gonna order some pizza, but they don't accept US dollars, which is fine, but I can't order pizza because I don't have any local currency because I ran out. So I'm eating this little seafood cup of um, like ramen noodles, because it's pretty big over here, these ramen noodles. Um, just sipping it, you know. I actually ate two of these. They're like 150 calories, but you know, I mean, they're so salty. I don't know, you know? Gotta do what you gotta do when you're traveling. Met some cool people today um, who are on the boat ride, very international. Right now I'm just trying to get some work done, trying to get some um, photos uploaded, not be social because I'm not social uh, in hostels. I find it very hard to go up there and be social. A lot of the times it involves drinking and that's not something that I can do on this trip. A lot of times it also involves talking about our travels and the last thing I kinda wanna do is talk more about my expedition after a really long day. So I'm kind of just taking a chill right now, just trying to get some stuff done. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.